active bread. These are the ingredients. You need your bread flour, white one, or whole milk. It depends. If you don't want the white flour, you can buy whole milk. Then I see bread. You need your bread flour, salt, grated nutmeg, sugar, dry yeast, and margarine. First of all, you measure your flour, your bread flour. Okay, so this 10 ounce of bread flour. Get your 10 ounce bread flour. It depends the quantity you want. If you want more, you get more. Now we are using eight, 10 ounces of bread flour. Put it into your bowl. This is your yeast. Because the weather is very cold, you need a lot of yeast to make the bread proof. So, I'm going to use one and a half sachet, half of this dry yeast for the 10 ounce flour. sugar if you do it will, it will taste sweet and that will be like sweet bread so just a pinch about half teaspoon of sugar to give it a taste and then butter just a, a bit of butter so these are the dry ingredients you rub in you use your hand to rub in the butter nicely warm water you don't use too hot water because if you use hot water you kill the yeast so just a warm water warm enough for your hand to go in you can measure the So this is the warm water, 150 no. ml. Sometimes you can add all, but you add it gradually. Don't add all the warm water together because you need a nice hard dough. So you add the water gradually. Keep on adding a bit at a time. See, now I, I have the texture of the dough, so I'm not going to add the rest of the water. Okay. This is our dough. You turn it onto a clean working surface. This place has been cleaned nicely. So what to do is just put a bit of the flour on the working surface and then you use the the back of your palm to knead it you have to knead it that helps the yeast to distribute well into the dough knead it nicely don't use too much flour when you knead it if not you make the dough very hard See, use the back of your palm to knead it. So you get a very nice smooth dough.
Meanwhile, you can taste. You know, you are dealing with salt, tea bread. So you can just take a bit of the dough. Mm hmm. Yeah. Just taste it. That's nice. the dough very nice you can feel it how smooth it feels in your hand so all you have to do now is just to portion the bread the way you like the dough the way you like it I'm just going to make two loaves so I just cut it into two sides use enough flour and mold it normally Ghana we mold the tea bread in a in a long strips like this See, now I use enough flour just to roll it up. You can make a mark on it so you leave it like that. And this is my baking tray. You grease it nicely with the butter. And you sprinkle a little bit more of flour, bit of flour. It prevents the bread from sticking onto the baking tray. So you put it on the tray and you cover it with a damp cloth. You wet your cloth with warm water. It helps the bread proof quickly. So what you do is you cover the dough on a tray with your damp cloth. Don't let the cloth go on the bread, if not it will make it soft. So what I do is I put something in the middle. Or you can put your, your rolling pin, just like this, to prevent the cloth from touching the, the dough. You leave it in a warm place for about 15 to 20 minutes for the dough to prove. This is the tea bread, as you can see. The dough has risen up. It has proved nicely, double in size. So it's ready to go in the oven now. The oven has been pre-warmed. So you put it in the oven. Don't turn it up too high. You bake it slowly. You stay in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes to get ready. And it also depends on the size of the bread that you are baking. So you just need to keep checking it. It's ready. Uh -huh. You don't need to ba make it too brown because you know Ghana tea bread is kind of pale. It's not golden brown. So it's ready. Start of the oven. And then you cover it with a clean cloth and leave it on to rest before you take it out of the tray. If you don't cover it, it makes the bread go very hard. That's the only thing.